Hi, I'm Andrea and this is a tutorial for my Gizmo Color Picker ID, available on uh, Nukepedia. We have a render of an helicopter and uh, two ID passes, one of them with the anti-aliasing filter and uh, the other one without uh, this, uh, this filter, so with uh, aliasing. I use this Gizmo coverage pass and if you want you can see my other tutorial on my Vimeo channel how to extract the coverage pass in Arnold and in Renderman and of course how to use it in, uh, in Nuke so now we start with this Gizmo color picker ID I have two inputs uh, one for the coverage pass and uh, this is uh, optional I can uh, connect if I want so if I have uh, the coverage pass and uh, one for the ID. In this case, uh, I connect uh, my pass uh, to the image with uh, the aliasing. I have uh, four tabs. Okay, in the first tab, uh, I can choose my uh, color for the final mat. Uh, the output of my gizmo is uh, the mat in uh, RGB and uh, in the alpha channel. There is the checkbox active on the right side of the tab and I can active all the picker that I want. I can also change the colors if I want and in this case I active my green ID okay, for the windows of the helicopter and the red for the body or I can try to activate the yellow, blue, magenta what I want. For each tab there are the button for the instructions so uh, you can uh, read what you have to do. In the second tab controls I have to uh, select my pick from the list and click on the button update. When I click update I can read the status of this pick so uh, it could be active or no active and I see the color. Okay, I can open this group advanced tuning so I can modify just this ID. Uh, in this case, the yellow mat. As you can see, I can erode, I can delete the, uh, my mat, my alpha channel, I can blur it. There are the RGBA checkbox and the Ampre Mult if I want to uh, have the RGB in uh, my output for example the yellow and if I want I can Ampre Mult my output. Now I try to change my picker for example number 5 magenta and how you can see I modify just this ID. Now we can come back to the yellow and uh, how you can see I modify just this ID. The next tab is coverage. With the attribute display I can see my coverage pass, I can try to remove uh, my coverage input and the gizmo works also in this case. How you can see I can uh, modify my coverage, just my coverage pass. I can modify the size with the first attribute and with gamma and multiply I can uh, grade the alpha. Okay, in the last tab, final mat, uh, how you can see in this case you can modify the final mat, all the pickers together. In the previous tab, control, you can control the single ID. In this one you can control all the ID together. And now there are two examples. I create a simple node of color correction and I increase uh, the value of the offset. Now I create my gizmo color picker ID and uh, I put it uh, uh, in the mask input of my color correction node. As default uh, my ID in the color picker is the green and with, with the various attributes uh, on my uh, final mat uh, tab I can uh, modify the output of my mask
in controls tab I can modify just the ID green and uh, I can compare with uh, a simple ID from uh, the original uh, image with the aliasing you can see the difference between the edge Okay, in the second example I use uh, the color ID that I extract uh, automatically from Arnold Render Now I pick the new color, so in this case is uh, purple and there are uh, these colors are really really similar so I have to increase my tolerance uh, attribute so in this case I can select just uh, the ID, the object that I want How you can see in my edge there is uh, the aliasing so I can modify my attribute in the final mat I can insert my personal gizmo anti-aliasing filter it uses a matrix to increase my uh, Gaussian filter Okay, I can increase or uh, reduce my filter, and in this case, I want to increase it. Okay, this was it was just uh, an example, but uh, we can continue to use uh, the original gizmo. I can uh, modify the knob in the advanced tuning group until you reach the perfect result that you want. You can drop me a line if you want and download the gizmo from Nukepedia. Okay, for this time that's all and bye bye, thank you.